Okay, so I've got the business reply card, and what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to do the auto form field recognition so that it will recognize these fields here when I export this to Acrobat. So because I've gone in and set all this up, I'm going to export this to Acrobat here. I click Save. I'm going to export this. There it comes up, and I'm going to go to my Forms toolbar here, and I'm going to start the Form Wizard. I'll have it walk me through this so I can see what form fields I can go in and recognize. So I'm going to start with a PDF here. I'm going to use the current document. Runs through the whole thing and tells me there's no form fields to recognize, which is kind of odd because I've put all these spaces in here. wonder why it wouldn't do that. So I'm going to go back into InDesign here, and the reason why it doesn't recognize that is because there are no lines that are after the name and the address and such that are going to tell me that the form fields are recognized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer in here, and I've actually included all the lines on this separate layer. And on this layer, I'm going to make sure my checkboxes are on here also, so that I have those. Now, I've gone through and designed this so it looks really good, and the last thing I want is all these dark lines and checkboxes here. But because I've done this on a separate layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this file and yeah, as an Acrobat file. But the difference is I want to make sure that I export this including my layers right here. Now, sometimes you may not see the layers being active, and the reason is you have to export this as an Acrobat 6 or higher file in order to get the layers that you've created, whether in Photoshop or InDesign or Illustrator, as actual layers. I'm going to export this file, and the lines are going to go ahead and show me where the auto recognition is going to work. So I'm going to go into the Forms menu, and I'm going to choose my Add or Edit Fields. And it will also come up with the auto recognition here. It says, do you want to detect this for you? I say yes. It goes through and uses the lines and the checkboxes and creates all those fields for me. So I click the preview menu. There it is. I can highlight the fields. Everything's right there. But I want to get rid of all these lines. I'm going to go back out of the forum field editing to get back to my normal PDF here. And I'm going to go to my layers. And if those layers don't show up, go under the view menu, under navigation panels, and there they are. So my layers appear just like they would in Illustrator, and I can click on the drop-down menu, and I can actually turn that layer off. So the lines that I used for form field recognition can be turned off, and there is my final artwork. Just because I turned the layer off here doesn't mean that it'll be turned off when I send it to somebody else. I want to make sure that all these layers are gone so we can get rid of those placeholder layers. So I'm going to right-click on the layer here, and I'm going to choose Flatten Layers, which will get rid of all these layers together there they are. You'll notice form fields didn't go away, but the layers did, and those fields are still active there. So now we can go in and we can put my name here. And it all works. You can always see upcoming webinars that we are giving at creativetext.com. On the creativetext.com website, go to the training tab and that should show you a list of all our upcoming workshops. Take a look, but what I really want to plug here is we've got a, a item every month called Suggest a Workshop Topic. If you click on that, it will take you to a uh, special area where you can suggest a topic, and we invite you to please tell us what you'd like to see. We write new material every month. We are constantly looking for new topics that our audiences are going to be interested in.